Hello, viewers. We meet again in the duration of 24 hours channel. Let's take a few minutes each day to listen to the hottest news. The not able even that have happened on 24 hours channel. In today's news, let's go through the main not worthy contents right away. Dear respected viewers, the situation of heavy rain, storms, typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis has been extremely complex and unpredictable since the beginning of this year. This morning, the Beijing government unexpectedly issued an evacuation order for over 250 million people in major cities such as Hubei, Hubei, Jiangxi, Anhui, Wuhan, and Sichuan, as these areas have been hit by consecutive powerful earthquakes occurring underground. The evacuation order was issued during the night, and all 256,000 residents living around the lower reaches of the Tamheap Dam and the Yangtze River had to quickly move to high mountain peaks or higher areas to seek refuge or possibly head south to Laos or Vietnam for shelter, with the epicenter just about 25 kilometers from the Tamheap Dam. Yesterday a large embankment along the Yangtze River unexpectedly burst, causing all areas surrounding the embankment to be submerged in water. Livestock, poultry, houses, and belongings floated along the floodwaters, creating a horrifying scene. According to the China Meteorological Administration, the amount of rainfall today and in the coming days will continue to increase, causing floodwaters to surge and posing imminent danger to the Tamheap Dam and the 17 embankments along the Yangtze River. The China Earthquake and Tsunami Research Center has also issued an urgent announcement stating that three dams in the area are showing signs of potential collapse. T is urgently requested that residents, as well as agencies and departments, exercise extreme caution, and people are urged to evacuate immediately. The state media in China reported that yesterday was an extremely dark day for the country, with consecutive earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, and embankment breaches occurring all in a single day. This has caused rapid and unprecedented increases in floodwaters of the Huanghe, Yangtze, and Mekong rivers, prompting President Xi Jinping's government to declare a state of emergency with a red alert during the night, people are urged to evacuate to high mountainous areas or to seek refuge in other countries if necessary. However, Vietnam has tightly controlled its borders with strict surveillance through 24-7 cameras. Vietnam is not able to provide assistance to Chinese citizens during this period of heavy rain, strong winds, earthquakes, and tsunamis due to concerns about the resurgence of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has been experiencing complex developments in many major cities in China. Those who have witnessed firsthand the shortage of food and medication affecting over 250 million mainland Chinese citizens, tears will surely flow uncontrollably. In the past few months, China has had to close all factories, workshops, eateries, restaurants, and markets. Government departments, companies, and corporations have been sealed off, leading to widespread unemployment. As we enter 2023, COVID-19 is still not under control in China, and continuous occurrences of heavy rain, floods, storms, earthquakes, tsunamis, landslides are piling up difficulties and challenges for the Chinese people. However, it is believed that President Xi Jinping's government is still preoccupied with plans to invade territories and waters of neighboring countries. Therefore, they disregard the floods, embankment breaches, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Their biggest concern now is territory, waters, money, military power, and becoming the world's superpower surpassing the United States. But millions and millions of Chinese people wonder, what good is having more territories, more land, more money, and a strong military when the country is facing a pandemic and devastating floods? While the epidemic and floods are ravaging the country, President Xi's government shows no concern or worries. This has led to more than a quarter of the Chinese population becoming increasingly frustrated with his government. Many Chinese hydraulic experts have affirmed that this dam does not bring the benefits as claimed by the Chinese Communist Party. In fact, since its construction, it has changed the global climate by slowing down the Earth's rotation. It is for this reason that the weather has become extremely erratic and unpredictable. Scientists refer to it as extreme weather, and therefore, China has suffered severe consequences caused directly by the dam. Ladies and gentlemen, last night, 
China unexpectedly experienced a catastrophic flash flood and landslide that hit the banks of the Tam Heap Dam, burying half of the dam and bringing the dam collapse perilously close. The incident occurred so abruptly that the security forces guarding China's largest dam had to issue an urgent alarm, the highest level of alert. According to the latest information we have just received, a local newspaper in China reported that at 4.16 a.m. yesterday, the flash flood originated from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River combined with the floods from the Yellow River and the Mekong River, all pouring in simultaneously after prolonged heavy rains with no signs of stopping. The local newspaper also quoted Mr. Xu Yin, a 63-year-old resident living in the lower reaches of the Yangtze River and near the Tam Heap Dam. He stated that around 2.15 a.m. this morning, when the darkness was enveloping the outdoors, scenes of flooding and submergence were unfolding, and the power lines were being disrupted. People, exhausted from sleepless nights spent guarding the embankment, were hastily trying to catch up on sleep when the Tam Heap Dam suddenly issued an emergency alarm. Cameras capturing the scene from the mountaintops showed the torrents and landslides roaring down from the upper reaches, causing wild animals and birds in the mountains to cry out in panic, shortly after, oh my god, those aforementioned flash floods and landslides completely buried three-quarters of the Tam Heap Dam, requiring China's rescue and relief forces to go all out to withstand the disaster, continuing the story. The man also revealed that as of today, heavy rains, including torrential, Downpours continue to pummel the provinces and cities mentioned above. It is certain that this year's natural disasters will go down in China's history, so that future generations will know the truth that 2023 is a year of great calamity and darkness for China. It is only the beginning of the year, and the floods have already been so horrifying. One can hardly imagine what the coming days in the rainy and typhoon season will bring. Above where the detailed summary of the notable contents of the day from 24 Hours Channel. Thank you all for your attention and staying tuned until the end of this video. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below so that our team can respond properly. Goodbye and see you again in the next new update from 24 Hours Channel.